Hello friends, good evening. Today I am going to show you uh, the intercompany transaction within Odoo. When you have a trading company and you have the same company in different state and who is you know managing intercompany orders. So what we need to do is we need to create uh, different companies and here we need to enable intercompany transaction in both the company. So I have created Odoo tutorials GJ means Gujarat and MH means Maharashtra both the company and I have enabled these settings. Okay, so now Gujarat company is my base uh, company who is registering my orders for the product. So I have created product one <coughs> where I have selected buy and manufacture route. And this route uh, is different for both the company. Okay, for Gujarat company, I have triggered the route based on reordering rule of buying and it will trigger the route on buy based on minimum maximum that is zero so immediately on the basis of my sales order it will trigger a purchase order to Odoo tutorials Maharashtra company that is one setting I have done now the same way for Maharashtra company I have registered this product as buy and manufacture is default but in min max I have created the manufacturing preferred route with min max zero quantity so as soon as I receive one order for the same product uh, it will trigger a manufacturing order in Maharashtra company and in Maharashtra company I have defined the bill of material for this product which requires COM1 that is component 1 uh, for the product and component 1 I am again you know uh, making a purchase you know based on mean max uh, rule uh, triggering buying order with raw material vendor 1 okay so let's see how it goes so Gujarat company is registering a sales order. <coughs> okay. And uh, one more thing I can uh, tell you like if you want to separate the sequence of your sales order and purchase order, you can easily do so. So here in sequences in sales order, you can you know uh, uh, make like this is for Gujarat company. Okay. Now I am duplicating it and I am making the same for Maharashtra company. So my SMH is for Maharashtra company and SGJ sequence is for Gujarat company. Same way I can uh, separate out my purchase order sequences. So purchase order for PGJ for my Gujarat company. I am duplicating it and making it for MH, PMH, purchase order for MH. Now if I'm going here, let me purchase order for GJ so I can recall it as soon as needed. <coughs> so these are small tweaks we are doing right now. So I'm creating one order in Gujarat company for my customer one and I'm selling product one, one unit okay as soon as i confirm the order it will generate a delivery order and as i have selected the route the odoo will trigger an rfq to my vendors that is odoo tutorial maharashtra company so maharashtra company will uh, uh, be order generated based on my reordering group and i am going to confirm this order as soon as i confirm order it will generate a receipt from my maharashtra company now what i will do is i will simply switch the company Maharashtra company and I am going into sales order. So system has auto generated this sales order Uru tutorial and you can see uh, like it is automatically generated based on our document that's PGJ0003 was my Gujarat purchase order. If I am going back into Gujarat and you can see the same purchase order reference number pgj0003 is my purchase order and it is generated from my operation 2 so now i'm going into maharashtra and now i'm going into sales and here as soon as i confirm this sales order for product one in my maharashtra company it will trigger a delivery order and based on my reordering rule the system will trigger a manufacturing order over here you can see MO2 
which is generated from here okay so this is the old and yeah so this is in confirmed state and it will require a com1 component which is not available right now so as soon as i confirm this order system will trigger another po to my raw material vendor you can see and the base documents are mo002 okay and sales order one this is my base okay as soon as i confirm order uh, i will generate a receipt i receive this in my maharashtra warehouse okay and when i go back to my manufacturing order you can see this two number i can see the item is reserved now so i will say i produce one component it is saying one consume i say mark is done so this item is ready now to deliver so i will go to my sales order and then i will open this sales order having the delivery which is in ready state now because this item is pro one is manufacturing it is ready to deliver i set quantities and then i validate it so entire of my transaction maharashtra company is done i am switching back to gujarat company and in gujarat company i will go to my purchase order so based on this purchase order now i will receive the pro one from my maharashtra company i set quantity i validate this so this item is now available and i will fulfill my order towards my customer now if i go to customer order and delivery now you can see the item is automatically reserved and i finally deliver this item so entire transaction is completed let's go back and check the trial balance okay it hasn't registered so maybe yeah i need to check so maharashtra company yeah i can see inventory stock received and delivered are there for gujarat company it's not there so if i go and check my product categories so product one i think component one is only part of this uh, my another product is not part of this so it is not registered any uh, moment so not an issue but yeah this is how it will work inter company uh, for trading as well as you know uh, manufacturing purposes you can set it up easily so one company is making sales another company is uh, uh, and and that company is making purchase to the second company and second company will receive automatic orders uh, in our system hope uh, this type of setting uh, will help uh, us to define the system smoothly uh, i would also like to show you uh, the routes so here in routes it is buy and manufacture for gj company but manufacture i have disabled so it is not uh, you know going to trigger and as soon as i switch to maharashtra company i have enabled the routes in the manufacture so this is on my warehouse i have enabled maharashtra company to produce but when i go to gujarat company i haven't select that route in my warehouse so gujarat company is only going to buy no manufacturing will be available here okay hope uh, this helps uh, to understand inter company uh, transactions inside odoo and yeah thank you very much